Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video lecture series of Theory of Automata. So we are actually learning now a non-deterministic finite automata construction of NFA uh, from different type of regular languages. Okay. In my previous lecture, uh, we have understood uh, four different examples where we have learned about starting with uh, one symbol like A, ending with another symbol, okay, ending with a symbol like A, then containing substring known as AB, then uh, ends with AB, okay. So this is like previous examples that we did. Now we will be starting off with a uh, few more examples which comprises of a uh, format like this, okay where a language is given to you and W will be given to you. A particular alphabet will be given to you and that's this W is nothing but it's a collection of strings which contains exactly two A's. Exactly two A's. So now we will be looking into this format. You might be having exactly two A's, okay. Uh, you can say uh, contains at least two A's, okay. And you can contain, you can have uh, uh, at most two A's, okay, it's like this kind of questions you might be having. So let us check this and then we will discuss others. Now this is uh, telling that exactly two A's, that means this is the restriction part, okay. Other than this, we are having since W, with, what is W now? W belongs to A and B, where uh, A and B to the power asterisk. Asterisk means asterisk value start from 0 till N, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 up till N. So that means uh, this W is a collection of strings which comprises of elements A and B and it can be of any format. But in that you have to, that there is a restriction that only, only over A that exactly two A's. There is no restriction for B. So let me uh, draw for A exactly two A's. So this will be Q0. Okay. This is, uh, this is one A, Q1 and this is another A. And this will be your final state. Clear? So this is this will be your exactly two A's, not more than not more than that, or not less than that as well. Okay. Since there is no restriction for B, it's very simple. For every state, you can make a self loop. It's done. It's as simple as that because there is no restriction for B, so B can come anywhere. Okay, maybe B, uh, for B there might be any combination of uh, many any pattern of uh, strings, but there will be only two A's exactly two A's. So that is done. Now suppose if I ask you that uh, uh, this concept only, if I ask you that at least two A's, at least two A's means minimum of minimum two A's may be there, and after that it may contain more number. So that means initially I can make these two A's not not less than that. Okay, and then after this, I can make a com uh, I, I can make uh, a as a self loop over here because at least two a's it is telling, right? So that means two a's should be there, and then uh, three a's, four a's, five a's, and n number of a's. So I can put this a over here. So then at least two a's will be done, correct? Uh, is is this done? Okay. So then next will be your for uh, suppose if I ask you at most two A's means maximum to maximum we can have two A's. So for that I will let you know after finishing off with this as particular concept. For that you have to make uh, initial as final this also final. So I will let you know that concept. So if I rub this then it will be your exactly two A's. Okay. If I include A over here and that will be at mo at least uh, at least two A's. And for at most two A's I will just explain to you once. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me finish it off with at most two A's also then it will be easy for you. Okay, so I have a space I can write it over here. Okay, and then uh, I will let you know. Okay, at most two A's. For at most two A's it's very easy. Okay, see first you check the language, language part. What will be the language part? At most two A's means first the uh, first it will be zero, null, correct? There is null. Uh, negative values is not possible, correct? Zero, single A can be possible and or two A's can be possible, not more than that. These three conditions are possible, right? So zero means what? Initial will be your final, correct? Initial will be your final. But here is a condition, here is a problem with that, is that the language collection of both A's and B's, both A's and B's. So uh, there might be a possibility is that uh, 
you might have n number of bees okay uh, there might be a possibility that uh, there is no restriction for bees correct so what i can do i first let me draw the uh, number of a's scenario because he, this this question i am doing is at most two a's correct so that means uh, initially if it is zero then initial will be uh, final correct so this is q naught then another state i will have to draw for a now single a so for single a then second state will also be a final q1 correct if it is two a's then two a's okay this will also be a final so that means all the three states all the three states will be your uh, final as well okay and this will be initial as a final because of zero zero number of a's if it is single a then it is uh, is the second state will be also final state if it is two a's then these two uh, then this will also be your final state now if there since there is no restriction for b then i can put a self loop over here and b i can draw anywhere i don't have any problem for b correct so this is your diagram for at most two a's so this this you have learned for exactly two a's and if i put a uh, a over this particular self loop then it will be ag uh, at least two a's so what you have learned over this particular uh, uh, example you have learned exactly two a's at least two a's and at most two a's clear so uh, in the next video lecture we will check it out few of the examples on w uh, on related to w and then finally we will left uh, we will left out with few more examples where we will learn about uh, the length over a particular string okay thank you for watching keep watching the videos and do subscribe so that you can get the updated videos as well thank you